Hey guys, today on Divas Can Cook, we are taking fresh peaches. We're gonna simmer them in brown sugar and cinnamon. We're gonna make these cute little crazy addictive pie crust bites because we are making the easiest peach cobbler ice cream ever. Like I could eat this entire pan, it is so good. This is the perfect end to a home cooked meal. Y'all ready? Let's go. Okay, first let's make our pie crust. I have some flour in a bowl. I'm gonna add in a little bit of salt. I'm gonna add in some sugar, and I'm gonna whisk this all around to make sure that everything is combined. Okay, that looks great. I'm gonna add in some butter flavor shortening and some chunks of cold butter I just cut up. This makes such a little small pie crust. Of course, you could go and get store-bought pie crust, but y'all, this pie crust is the bomb diggity. It's like so buttery, and it's just, yeah. Don't skip it, okay? Don't skip it. Next, I'm gonna add in some cold water. Now, if you normally suck at making pie crust, it's okay because this pie crust is gonna get broken all up into ice cream, so yeah, it can be ugly, it's fine. Okay, so now I'm just gonna knead our little dough a little bit just to get it, you know, uniform. Go ahead and pat it out into a little disc. Look how small, it's so cute. Okay, wrap it up just like that, and now we're going to refrigerate for about 30 minutes. Now while our dough is getting nice and cold, let's work on our peaches. I'm using some fresh peaches. Make sure they're nice and ripe and sweet. If you cannot find any ripe peaches or peaches are out of season, use these right here, the kind that comes in the cup that are in 100% juice. Use that kind, don't use frozen or canned. Frozen peaches can be kind of tart in those canned peaches. I like canned peaches, but sometimes in this ice cream they can leave like an aftertaste. Can't really explain it, but yeah. I wasn't a fan of that. So go ahead and just dice up your peaches really, 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 really small, kind of like that right there. Okay, that looks perfect. So now we're gonna move along to simmering these peaches. I'm gonna add some butter into a skillet here. All right, once that butter has got all melty and stuff, I'm gonna dump my peaches right into that hot pan. All right, we're gonna cook all of our cinnamon and butter and brown sugar into these peaches. So go ahead and sprinkle on your cinnamon and your um, brown sugar and your granulated sugar, just like that. I'm gonna add a pinch of nutmeg, not too much, just a little bit. And if you need to add more cinnamon, more sugar, go right ahead. My peaches were like candy. They were so, so sweet. So I didn't need to add that much sugar to them. We're gonna let these simmer away until they become kind of syrupy and very, very easy to mash. You want that syrup to be nice and thick, see, like that. You see how it's kind of thickening up a little bit? That is exactly what we want. So I'm gonna mash up half of these peaches. That way, when we're eating our ice cream, we getting peaches in every single bite. It's so good. So mash up half of them. I'm gonna leave the other half kind of whole like that, okay? Let it cool off put it in the fridge to kind of speed it up and now our pie crust is red time there it is all nice and chilled so we're going to go ahead and just roll it on out all right get your little rolling pin don't forget to add flour like i did because this dough can be a bit sticky so add your little flour you're going to roll it out really thin about an eighth of an inch or so then we're going to brush it with some melted butter because we're making like a cinnamon sugar pie crust bite it tastes so good in this doggone ice cream. So go ahead and just generously, very generously sprinkle it with cinnamon sugar, flip it over. We're gonna brush it again, put more cinnamon sugar on it. I just wanna make sure that this cinnamon sugar is has worked its way all throughout this dough, okay? But you can do it any way you want to, it don't really matter. So one last time, we're going to roll this dough back out. We're gonna hit it with some more butter, some more cinnamon sugar, and don't forget to be generous with this thing, honey. Really, really press it in there. You want it to be like really coated in the cinnamon sugar. Okay, so now I'm just gonna cut this into little squares. Don't have to be perfect, like I said, because we're just gonna crumble these up anyway. All right, we're gonna place these on a baking sheet that I have lined with some parchment paper. Go ahead and spread them out like that. They're not gonna like rise too much, so you can put them close together. Okay, so now we're gonna pop these bad boys into the oven, 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. When they come out, let them cool off and then just break them up just like this right here. And try not to eat them because once you start, it really is hard to stop. Who would thought? Like they're so simple, but yeah, they are so addictive, crazy. Okay, so we have our peaches ready. We have our pie crust ready. It's time to rock and roll. It's time to put it all together. All right, to make our ice cream, we're gonna add some heavy whipping cream into a bowl. Make sure it's nice and cold. That just really helps it to, you know, whip up faster. Okay, so we're gonna mix this around just until it becomes fluffy and light, kind of like Cool Whip. It can hold a peak when you remove the mixer beater. See how it just kind of holds a nice firm peak. Next, we're gonna add one of my favorite ingredients in the world. Yeah, sweetened condensed milk. I love this stuff. Who thought of this stuff? It's like the best ingredient ever. So go ahead and add that sweetened condensed milk in there. You wanna stir it up so there's no streaks. Next, you're gonna add in some vanilla and a little bit of cinnamon. Not too much cinnamon, just enough to kind of, you know, make it look nice and speckled like this right here. Yep, just like that. 
And now it's time for my favorite part, adding in all those peaches. Now make sure you taste those peaches too. Make sure they have enough cinnamon and sugar when you're cooking them, okay? All right, so I'm gonna add in just half of my peach chunks because I wanna save some to sprinkle on top. It looks so pretty when you have like the peaches and stuff sprinkled on top. So yeah, go ahead and stir those peaches into the ice cream mixture. I'm also gonna add my little pie crust bites and I'm gonna save some pie crust bites as well to sprinkle on top. All right, go ahead and stir that on up. And now just go ahead and dump this into your loaf pan, your ice cream pan, whatever you got and get it all in there. Use that spatula to scrape down the insides of the bowl. Don't leave none of that delicious ice cream behind, honey. Put it all in that pan. Okay, so now I'm just gonna place a few of the little reserved peaches on top. It looks cute. Okay, that looks great. Next, we're gonna add on the, we're gonna sprinkle on some of those pie crust bites, just like that. Yep, I like it. Okay, now we're gonna cover this up. I like to use plastic wrap. You can use foil paper. Just cover it up so that, you know, I don't want to take on that freezer taste. I can't stand when ice cream has that freezer taste. All right, we're gonna pop this in the freezer for hours or overnight. And now, go ahead and dig in. Y'all, this ice cream, I think it just might be my new favorite ice cream ever. Seriously, I love it. That's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos. Later.